Well, hello and welcome to Gemination Total Notary Channel. Today I will show you how to install NVIDIA drivers for your computer. Um, yeah, so first you need to know what graphics card you have and launch control panel and then you go to device manager. And here you can find basically your graphics card here. And I can see that I have an Intel HD graphics and I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950M. Uh, the M means it's for laptops, but nevertheless. If you want more information about how to check what graphics card you have, you can check tutorials about that I made earlier. Anyhow, go to product type and write in the number you found. And I had a GeForce. Uh, I have a 900M series. And if you use a laptop or notebook, you need to make sure it's the M version because that's the right one you want. And I also had the uh, 950. And make sure this is the right number. And then you select the operating system. I use Windows 10 64 bit and you can also select the language and then we click search. Now it will search for the drivers and we can see that the driver was released uh, um, yeah, a few days ago. So it's a fresh driver and it's basically uh, some good, 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 uh, a lot of download. It's all for gigs. So yeah. Just uh, segue that down to your uh, system and uh, launch it when it's installed. When the file is downloaded, navigate where you install it and double click it. Run DXE file. And it might take a little while to boot up, but you'll just want to wait for that, basically. So, um, yeah. And here we got extraction path, and this is where it installs. Um, if you don't really know where to put it, just let it be default. I just use default, it installs it directly under C drive. Uh, if you have an SSD, you might want to have it on an SSD, but this is my SSD, so I'll just click OK. And, um, you know, it takes a little bit of time to install the graphics drivers, so um, we're just going to let it run to uh, 100%. And there we go. It now will launch NVIDIA graphics driver. Now, this is interesting. It checked my system language and uh, it's now in Swedish. <laughs> Even though we installed it in English. Never mind. Uh, so that's a fun trivia. It will now check the uh, system compatibility. And if it says it's not compatible, it means you downloaded the wrong driver. And the, the thing that the people mess up here is selecting a similar number, maybe, you know, not GeForce, but something else and the same number, or they uh, downloaded uh, not M, but they are on a laptop, or they have a regular desktop, regular big graphics card, but they downloaded the M version, and it might not be compatible. Uh, so you basically have to wait it, wait for it to check the compatibility and if it says it's compatible it should be fine if it's not check the numbers and try again all right and uh, then it goes to the next step which is uh, the license for nvidia software and uh, you'll need to reel this uh, very carefully indeed and um, because this is a contract and stuff and when you read a contract, you click uh, read uh, agreements or the license uh, agreement thing. You just continue. Now, if you're lazy, you click express. You don't, you click 
you click anpassad. Oops. You click uh, the uh, how's that anpassad? You click the second option. Indeed, very nice. And um, so you want can specify something here. Of course, you want the graphics drivers, and you can also install install physics if you want to, but. Yeah, we have the same version, so it doesn't really matter. We might install it anyways. Now, here comes this little button here. This is clean installation. If you have had problems with your NVIDIA earlier installation, if it didn't work, if you had some weird settings, if it just messed up, if you want to make a clean installation, it will wipe your previous NVIDIA settings and perform a clean and nice install and nice stuff. Yeah. I happen to like my settings and you can check the tech tutorials if you want to learn to set some dope settings so I won't check this but if I would have some problems I definitely check it all right but I really don't I just want to update my drivers have problems check it you just want to update them just don't click it if you don't have any special settings you made you might perform a clean install anyway Right, and you click next, and uh, this will take a little while, and it will show you uh, advertisement and stuff. Oh no! Anyhow, wait for that, and um, yeah, I'll catch you when it started installing stuff. I should mention this as well. Um, it might ask you if you want to install some other software that's basically a NVIDIA program that makes you use NVIDIA Shadowplay and some different utilities softwares from NVIDIA. Um, if you want that, you can choose to install that also on some installers, but I think it detected I don't have it or said no too many times, but um, yeah, I don't like it too much. Uh, I use uh, OBS and stuff, so I don't need that. But anyways, um, that's an option. It might look a little bit weird when it's installing the uh, graphic drivers. You probably shouldn't do anything else while installing it, like re recording videos and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, okay, anyways. Uh, it might look a little bit weird because it's removing the old graphic drivers and installing new ones and it will blink and flash and uh, stuff like that. So that's normal. I just want to say that your system isn't messing, messing up, it's normal, okay. Anyways, catch you when we um, have waited for the progress bar. Very interesting. All right, and we waited for the very interesting progress bar. And now you might see it actually says NVIDIA installation program failed, but this is not true. Because as I told you before, this little program that basically uh, updates stuff automatically and uh, uses Shadowplay and stuff like this, wasn't installed because it couldn't be updated because I don't have it. And you know what? You don't need it. So if you see here, NVIDIA Update Core failed. That's fine. Graphics Driver installed. This one is, you know, and the physics, it says a newer or same version already exists. So, you know, I, I already knew that and it, yeah, it, it checked and it was the same, so it was fine. So even though this thing has failed, if the graphic driver and the number, that's the newest one, says installed, that actually means it's a success. So this is where some people get confused, but you don't, if you want update core, of course, um, download the installer and install that and the update will go fine. But when you're doing a manual driver install like this, you don't need it. And even though it says fail, if this says installed, it's all fine. And yeah, that's basically how we updated the drivers. All right, so we restarted the computer to check if we got the new drivers installed. Um, you might not actually need to restart the computer, but it's recommended and uh, yeah, it's a good way to do. And then you'll know it's properly installed and stuff. So we can just click, click, click 
and look at properties and we can see the driver and the 39811 was the one we installed. You can see this on the last numbers here. So the install was successful and I actually peaked a little bit before I restarted the computer and it was the same number. So I suppose it works. But anyways, you can also right click and uh, you can click up uh, NVIDIA control panel. And there are some cool settings and stuff you can change here. So um, yeah, check the description for some nice other videos about stuff you can change here. Other than that, please subscribe for future videos and uh, consider supporting this channel on Patreon. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. This is Jim Edison, Total Nerdy Channel. Signing out. Have fun gaming. Bye-bye.